everyone, how are you all doing? I hope that you guys are having an amazing time out there. Uh, my name is Rajur Shri Mitter and welcome to my channel Mr. Mitter. And in this video, I'll be demoing uh, the latest release by uh, Neural DSP. This is the Neural DSP archetype Tom Morello uh, guitar plugin, guitar amp plugin, should I be saying. And who does not know Tom Morello? He is uh, an exemplary guitar player who has his signature sound and that is something that Neural DSP and Tom both of them have partnered together to give us the feel of what he does on stage. So without wasting any more time, let's get right into the video. So right after opening the plugin, we would be treated by this beautiful um, picturization of the amp that Tom uses. This is the classic British amp as we know and this uh, and the, and even the logo has been uh, uh, covered off in a very, in a very, very, um, what do you call it? rough and tough way if I have to put it that way and this is what Tom's sound is all about the amp and of course apart from the amp we have a few more things so on the first tab as we all know about all the neural DSP plugins over here so the first tab gives us a dive bomb pedal so this takes the sound and uh, like brings the pitch up or down according to the options that we select over here then we have the amp itself so unlike the other neural DSP plugins where we usually have three amps at least this one only has one amp and that's what we need here in this plugin because uh, Tom Morello is all about this amp itself now Tom's signature pitch pedal the WAM1 uh, is also included it had to be included in here so it uh, does what it says it takes the pitch and upon uh, the recession of the pedal it goes up or down something like it's really cool so this is takes in uh, like basic tone and does this really cool thing and you can also adjust a lot of um, settings over here so we have the blend uh, knob here and then we also can adjust the uh, like the what do you call it the pitch of uh, the pedal position when it's down and the pitch of the pedal position when it's pushed right up so the range i believe is uh, between minus 24 to plus 24 so that's that's crazy so you can just go two octaves down and two octaves up so that's that that gives you a full four octave range for just one note that's crazy and uh, uh, after the WAM one, we have a WAH pedal as well. So this is basically post amp for not the ones that we usually use when we try to use a crybaby or something like that. So this has a different kind of a tone overall. So. Just a kind of what we are uh, habituated to hear when Tom Morello plays uh, his guitar. So this is a little different. It filters out your distortion tone for the most part, which our usual warp pedal does not because it's put before the amp but this one is put after the amp and has a different effect which is very much reminiscent to Tom Morello's uh, playing. Now on the fourth tab we have a delay so this uh, plugin basically has two delays so the first one is over here it's a very basic mono delay and it, it's got uh, three knobs the mix time and feedback and of course the stomp on off button it looks really beautiful in this pink uh, cover then we have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 band EQ. It's really cool to have uh, an EQ right uh, before the cabinet as well. So you can uh, shape your tone as per your requirement. And then we have the phaser with just a simple, single simple control, the speed knob. So you can uh, control the speed as per your liking. I would have liked a, uh, like a level uh, thing in the phaser as well, like the uh, mix uh, knob. but here is what we have so it works really well if you know how to use it of course and then we have the cabinet it has a matching cabinet which you can use it it, is, it has got two speakers over here speaker sims that is and you, we have a lot of choices for amps over here and of course we can also uh, import our custom impulse responses as well and then we have the EQ, the 9-band EQ, the classic neural DSP EQ, but definitely uh, remodeled to Tom Morello's taste. So we can, of course, use this to our taste. And the last tab, as we all know it, we have got a delay. It's a dual delay, delay 2 and a reverb, which has got all the basic options. And apart from all these things, we have got some really cool uh, things that, that we need to mention over here. So basically, uh, this doubler thing which has been 
into neural DSPs plugins. Uh, I believe um, most of, if not all of their plugins since uh, the archetype John Petrucci. This is the doubler effect. So when you switch it on, it basically simulates two guitars on two sides. So it widens the guitar signal and it sounds really, really spacey and uh, wide. So now let's hear what we have right out of the box as the default patch in this um, plugin. So the default patch sounds something like this through my guitar. Uh, I'm using the bridge humbucker right now. So it sounds something like this. Oh, not like this. I have something switched on. So I need to switch on the wah over here. Just done that. So yeah, it sounds something like this. <laughs> So classic British um, style tone, the stack amp as we know it. No, not the stack. I mean, I meant uh, the plexi amp that we all know. So this is really cool and it sounds really, really punchy and deep and whatnot. Uh, so even though there is just one amp, we can do a lot if we know how to tweak it. So we have got some different options over here to shape our tones, of course. So let us uh, check out some presets. So I was actually looking at um, the presets by Jack Gardiner. So let's check out this 80s lush clean tone. So yeah, it sounds something like this in the middle position where both my hamburgers are engaged. <laughs> driven but really nice. Now let's try it out using the single coil. I really like the sound. Getting such a clean tone out of um, such a such a radically dirty amp, uh, it's really uh, commendable in part of Jack Gardiner for even um, coming up with this amazing patch. So kudos to him. He's an amazing guitar player and uh, I love what he does and this tone is amazing. So let's check what else has he done. This is the E flat shreds, shred with a, with a, with a Z, so it shreds. So I believe it's transposed. Okay, so we also have a transpose button over here. Transpose knob should I be saying. So it without having to do anything on the guitar tuning, the knob will just take your guitar speech and tune it down. So So this is minus one. So if I just push it back to zero, it's going to be oops. Now this is standard tuning. Go back to where we were. So this is minus one. So this transpose uh, knob is really handy because you'll not have to tune your guitars every now and then if you have to use your guitar in a different tuning for some song and you'll also be freed of the pain of carrying multiple guitars for the same purpose. So that's really cool and this works really well. It does not uh, leave out any artifacts or any jiggly wiggly sounds as such. So this transpose uh, knob works really, really nicely, I would say. Uh, okay, so after the E flat shred, we have the JG lead, the Jack Gardiner lead. Let's hear it. very very high quality and deep kind of a tone I loved it and JG low gain use your dynamics he has mentioned to use our dynamics so I'll just go with my fingers let's see what we can do here I just pull the volume down a little perhaps If I 
like if I just go all in. Amazing, amazing sounds by Jack Garden over here and we can have uh, some amazing presets. We have rather a lot of amazing presets by a lot of uh, famous guitar players over here, namely uh, I Built the Sky, Javier Reyes and then a lot of other great guys who play some amazing music uh, in their uh, sounds. So yeah, that is pretty much about it and if you have to ask for my opinion uh, would this be um, the plugin of my choice if i had to purchase a plugin which gives me all these options yes i would definitely go for it so a lovely plugin by neural dsp al as always and i hope that you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching if you like what i did in this video please um, consider subscribing and sharing this video with your uh, friends and of course like and comment in the video as well so i am very happy to be able to do this and your support means a lot to me uh, until next time this is rajeshri meter signing off have a great time everyone